Texas and I'm back on site today. And this morning I was able to work with my father out on the woodshed, not the woodshed, the regular shed, roof out on the back side of the house. We were able to get the north side panels on. I've been holding off on those because while it's something I could have done by myself, it was a heck of a lot faster to do with two people. He was able to spin by this morning, help me out with that. And, uh, and then the rest of the day I've been spending working in here, specifically on this post. This post is uh, kind of part of what defines the brick area, the, the hearth area around the wood stove. And I got this in. Uh, the way that I'm attaching it to the floor down here, you know, up at the top, I'm just toenailing it in. But the way I'm attaching it down at the floor level is I took a piece of pressure treated wood and I cut it to be uh, just slightly smaller than the footprint of this uh, column. Because you're only going to see this side of the column and this side of the column. And this part here is going to have all brick. So I, uh, I had it stick out just a little to try to make it a little bit larger. I wanted to maximize the size of this because when you're putting nails to a small piece of wood, there's a greater degree of likelihood that it's going to crack. So I, I had it stick out a little bit because there's going to be a little bit of a buffer area. When the bricks go up to it, there's going to be some mortar. So I was able to, I, I think I've got like, it's about a quarter of an inch uh, overhang on both of these sides where the bricks will come up. Um, also, before I uh, fired that piece of pressure treated wood into the ground using the ram set, which is the, the uh, well, this right here, uh, that fires the uh, nails down into the ground using 22 ca uh, caliber cartridges. Um, before I put it, uh, the nails through, I pre-drilled some holes in the pressure treated wood uh, in a further attempt to try to keep it from cracking once I fired the, uh, the nails into it. I just drilled a couple of holes that were roughly the size, a little bit smaller than the nails, stuck the nail in, put this on top of the nail, put the charge in, closed it up, gave it a bang, and it worked out pretty well. Uh, I had a couple of uh, different uh, uh, charges here. These are level four charges, for what, whatever that means, and these are level three charges, a little weaker, and I'm starting to run low on four, number four charges, so I used the number three charges in here because I knew that I'd already cut through the wood, drilled through the wood anyway, and I was able to get the nails in, they stuck out a little bit, but I was able to uh, hammer them the rest of the way down using the, uh, the small sledge, and, and there you go. Uh, there is going to be some electrical work in here. There's going to be a little switch on here that will uh, actuate a light up here. One thing when you're working uh, at a wood stove cooking, a lot of times you, you, know, you cast your own shadow over it, because a lot of times wood stoves are kind of put off in the corner. The lights are behind you, and if you're trying to cook over the wood stove, you're trying to cook in your own shadow. So that's something I'm correcting. That was the case back at the last homestead. I'm correcting it here, and I'm going to have a light switch that will uh, actuate a light that will be somewhere up in here that will illuminate this work area, because uh, that can be kind of frustrating when you're trying to cook and you're trying to see, like, what's the color of this stuff? Is it browning up? And you can't see because everything's all in shadow. So that's what I got done today. Uh, I also uh, used the rest of the ram set to uh, nail in the bottoms of all of these things. And tomorrow I'm going to get going on the closet over there, and that will be the last of the nails uh, that need to go into the floor here, uh, with the exception of you know whatever is required for putting in the kitchen cabinet. So, pretty good day. Shed has a roof. We have a post. Getting close on getting this hearth in. That's going to be pretty cool. Putting that hearth in. That'll be coming up over the next week, I think. That's it. Thanks for watching.